All right, so uh, you may have noticed already, perhaps, that our songs this morning so far involve some element of stress or anxiety or worry that God, um, we look to God to relieve for us. And that is because we are starting, uh, I don't often do this, but we are starting a topical sermon series, a series on a topic. And that topic is stress, anxiety, distress, um, (coughs) sad. Um, And we are going to talk about that for the next little while. And and we are going to learn, hopefully, or remind ourselves about how uh, we can deal with the stress or anxiety or worry in our lives from scripture's perspective and from God's perspective. And so this morning, our confession and assurance comes out of that. Psalm 73, verses 1 to 3 and 21 to 26. Surely God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost slipped. I had nearly lost my foothold, for I envied the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. When my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered, I was senseless and ignorant. I was (coughs) a brute beast before you, yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterward you will take me into glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, this morning (coughs) we come before you and we confess. We confess that our feet have almost slipped, or perhaps our feet have indeed slipped. We have fallen to temptations of a variety of kinds, including, O Lord, the temptation not to put our trust in you, the temptation to look to the prosperity of the wicked enviously, the temptation to look at our own misfortunes and despair. Lord, whether those misfortunes may be big or small, whether our envy is great or little, we confess, O God, that our hearts have been grieved and our spirits embittered. And so, Lord, please forgive us for when we have not trusted in you, when we have not relied on you, when we have looked at those who seem to do well in spite of their faithlessness and selfishness. Lord, please forgive us. Lord, hear us, we ask as we lay these things before you in a moment of silent prayer. Thank you, O God. Thank you, O God, for you are always with us and you hold us by our right hand Thank you, O God, that you guide us with your counsel. And in the end, you will take us into glory. Thank you, O Lord, that you are our everything. We may fail, our hearts may fail, but you, O God, are the strength of our hearts and our portion forever. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 